What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Nathan and we have another UFC event, another week, you know how we do. And uh, before I get into it guys, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. That helps really, really a lot. <clears throat> Without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have Battle of Women's Strawweights. We have Angela Hill, we have Ashley Yoder. They both have losing records. They both go to a decision a lot. Ash Angela Hill has the higher pedigree in striking and I feel that uh, she's going to have just enough experience because of all her past fights to get past Ashley Yoder and break her two fight losing streak and I think uh, Angela Hill's going to take this fight decision. Then we have a battle of uh, top 10 ranked men's bantamweights. We have Pedro the Punisher Munoz taking on Jimmy El Tara Rivera and uh, it's going to be an interesting fight. Pedro Munoz is uh, his nickname is the Punisher and he's had only one fight of his victories to go to a decision and uh, we have on the other end of the spectrum we have Jimmy Rivera who has only won one fight in his UFC career by finish. I have a strange feeling that uh, Pedro Munoz is going to be finishing Jimmy Rivera by KO and uh, I think he's going to climb up the rankings and uh, I say second round KO but it's it wouldn't be surprising if it goes to a decision because uh, Jimmy Rivera is a very tough and, uh, you know, scrappy competitor. Then we have a battle of women's flyweights. We have Montana De La Rosa taking on Mayra Bueno Silva. Montana De La Rosa has the tougher fights up to date, but uh, Mayra Silva is no slouch and it's going to be an interesting fight. I feel it's going to be a decision either way because they both have a tendency to go to decisions. So it's going to be interesting who comes out on top. I think uh, Montana is going to come out on top because she has faced a, a tougher competition. Then in the co-main event, we have a battle of uh, Russian light heavyweights. We have Nikita Krylov, who is the rank 8th in the division. And he takes on Dagestan prospect Magomed Ankalaev, who is 11th in the division. And uh, it's going to be an interesting fight. Nikita Krylov has fought the who's who in this division. He's been here for two 10 years now. He's had two separate 10 years in the UFC. He's a very game fighter. He's had some big wins and he's had some heavy losses in the division against uh, notable opponents. But I have a feeling that Magomed Ankalaev is going to get through this. He's going to win decisively. I think second round KO, uh, maybe a kick. I, I'm not sure. Magomed Ankalaev. And in the main event, we have a battle of top 10 heavyweight contenders. We have Surinamese fighter Jazinho Biggie Boy Rosenstrike. And he takes on Cyril Gan from France. Uh, it's going to be an interesting fight. Rosenstrike has a long and decorated uh, heavyweight kickboxing career and he's brought his skills to the octagon and he's uh, done so well for himself right now. He only has one loss against the Predator who's going to fight for the title, Francis Ngannou. And uh, he takes on undefeated prospect from France, uh, Cyril Gan, and uh, it's going to be an interesting fight. I think Cyril Gan is going to be on the up and up and I think it's going to be a first round KO for Cyril Gan. I think he's going to put a stamp on this division and show that he's the next one up to fight for the title. So that was it for another video guys. If you did like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, and until then, I'll see you in the next one.